Hello, this is Goku for some one, and I'm back this time to do a video on the new cartoon coming out uh, later this year, this fall, called Star Wars Rebels. Now, I have yet to see all of Clone Wars. Uh, I mean, all the episodes. I've only seen um, one and a half seasons of that show, but I do plan to marathon it when it comes on Netflix next month. But this is what I wanted. I cannot wait for this show. Now, I don't know many of the characters' names, so I'm going to describe what they look like, um, because a lot of the names are really, really weird. But this show keeps getting better and better and better and better and better. This is a cartoon I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, Disney has done a lot of shitty cartoons in the uh, past few years because they've been trying to merge the Marvel Cinematic Universe with their cartoon universe, and they've done a lot of shit because of that. This is amazing. They got the team that did Clone Wars to do a show in between episodes three and episodes four. This is this is near the end. Uh, this is actually very close to episode four. This is like five years before those events. So our main characters are going to be teenagers or adults uh, in this world. And that's awesome. Now, uh, there's a host of characters. There's a cowboy Jedi or a a Jedi that's it's more roguish, more uh, more scoundrelish, more Han Solo-ish, which is cool. There's a kid who's most certainly the main character. I don't know his name off the top of my head, but uh, he's interesting. He's more of uh, he's more of a guy that I don't really like his character much, but I think he's going to train to be a Jedi. Um, then there's uh, then there's Zab, I think his name is. He's like the new alien of the show, which he looks cool and interesting. But recently they've introduced... Oh, and, and there's Chopper. Chopper's cool. Chopper was my favorite character until they introduced Sabine. The reason I'm making this video. Sabine is a Mandalorian, but she's like a punk Mandalorian. That's so awesome! I love the idea of uh, of punk chicks, but take a punk chick and then make her a badass weapons expert, and that's Sabine. Oh my word, I cannot wait to see her. She's going to be my favorite character, but this show is so freaking awesome. Yeah, it's going to start out on a planet, and they're just going to be flying around in the ship called the Ghost, and it's gonna, it's going to start out slow. And just introducing this to uh, th this world to us, but then later on, the big stuff that we want is going to be in here. I guarantee you, the big gigantic stuff that me as a Star Wars fan really wants is going to be here. But this cartoon looks amazing, and it's making me want to watch freaking Clone Wars. I want to see Clone Wars because I want to see what this team has done before this, because the, the same team that did Clone Wars, or at least some of them. Uh, is working on this, and so it really gets me excited. But no, this show looks fantastic. I don't know <coughs> much about it. I've seen all the little promotions, <laughs> but every time I get to know more about it, I like it more and more and more. Um, I do recommend you go you go see this show this fall when it comes out. It looks amazing, and I can't wait for it. <coughs> I cannot wait. I have uh, I I. I I have Disney XD, and I'm going to record every episode and see it. And yeah, if you want me to do actual podcast or uh, uh, videos on every episode, reviewing them, please leave a comment below, and I probably will do that if, if I get enough requests. Uh, yeah, I can't wait for this show. This is what Beware of the Batman should have been. Not this particularly, but this is how you do a fucking sweet-ass show. This is Goku Fortis 1, and I'll see you next time, YouTube.